Are you looking for a few cards to finish up that new brew? Well, you can pick them up and support the show by visiting our sponsor, Card Kingdom. Just follow the link in the description box down below. Hello and welcome to Babelfish, a social battle series focusing on the personal stories from our amazing magic community and featuring a unique challenge format for each episode. You may know him as At Living Cards in TG. Joining us today is Jeffrey Palmer. So sit back and relax as we talk about his start with Channel Fireball, love of Dungeons and Dragons, and his newfound obsession with MTG Arena. Yeah, I want to thank you so much, Jeffrey, for being the first guest on the show MTG Live, where we're going to kind of hang out, talk about who you are, what you do, uh, and play a bit of magic kind of while we're doing that. So just, you know, if you want to tell me a little bit about yourself, I, I understand you're, a, you're an animator and you work with Channel Fireball. Yeah, absolutely. I'm Jeffrey Palmer. I, I really appreciate you having me on the show. I am the senior graphics designer for Channel Fireball. I got started kind of uh, just as a magic animator, having fun doing fantasy animations just to kind of break up the day job of being a TV commercial director. And I really didn't think it was going to lead to anything more than just, you know, some Reddit karma. So I remember um, seeing some of your card animations before I kind of knew who you were and, and what you did. One that stuck out to me was um, one of the swords that you animated for a GP. That was such a cool time. Um, I was contract then, so just kind of per gig, per hire. And uh, they just basically said, you make the intro. It was just like a dream because I, I would go, okay, I, I can literally pick from the entire history of magic within reason. I, I went from doing fan animations to saying, wizards, I, I want this art and it'll be seen by thousands and thousands of people. So uh, that show, yeah, I remember the um, they had spoiled the... Uh, masterpieces that's what it was mm -hmm. uh the masterpiece swords and i was like okay well that's it <laughs> you know we got to get those so how am i going to animate a sword but then I, I i thought about ways to sort of bring them to life as each one kind of formed through the scene you have like a um, process where you're kind of thinking about breaking down the art to animate yeah it's um kind of like interesting what what calls you know my attention to things because i'll i'll look at something and i'll say oh you know there's something i could move or I could see just a moment before or after whatever the sort of hero scene is. Or, or lately I've been doing a lot of loops uh, because they're just so eye-catching, like Icy Manipulator um, and things like that, where it could just sit and do whatever it was doing. That just blew people's minds. So well, yeah, <laughs> the Icy the was great with how you integrated the uh, yeah. 3D cube as the main Yeah, scene. yeah. I'd love to to say I uh, am an expert in 3D. I do some, but you know when you're when you're not doing it as much professionally, uh, you don't have as much time to put into it. But yeah, the the areas of some of the metal stuff. I think the best one is the soul ring, uh, the actual 3D soul ring from the command zone intro. Mm -hmm. um, that was just some a little touch, and yet it adds an enormous amount to the to the animation. And uh, you know, moving on, I wanted to talk about something that some people might not know about you, and that's uh, you know you're a longtime player of Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons is is definitely my my longest thing. I played that again, kind of in in uh, high school, and maintained an interest. And then the coolest thing with Dungeons and Dragons was I was able to uh, keep in touch with all of my you know kind of childhood buddies. I'm from Missouri. I moved uh, moved away first to Omaha, then to Minnesota, where I live now. And and uh, I was able to keep in touch with those guys by uh, the logging in and playing on this Roll Twenty platform, where it's really just an online gaming play space. You just mm -hmm. you know open open. Uh, they didn't turn it into a video game or anything like that. It's just an open play space where you can import maps and and little uh, character tokens. And uh, I, I think I have like 1,100 hours on it. So, you know, that's that'll add up when you're playing three hours a week uh, just with your buddies. So just recently, the coolest thing, uh, they've started allowing uh, animated tokens, which was something I never it caught me completely by surprise. So that was like a kind of a light bulb moment for me. And I said, well, I got to get on on that. <laughs> I got to find somebody who's an artist. Um, so I'm actually uh, making some of the tokens for the program now 
Mm-hmm. Um, and I teamed up with one of the best token makers, uh, you know, artists in the game. Um, he does it full time. Uh, his name is Devin Knight. And uh, I, I sort of knew him on Twitter and we talked a little bit, you know, years before, just completely uh, randomly. I said, hey, Devin, you know, and he, he was looking for an animator. So it was kind of a match made in heaven immediately. Um, so we've released one pack so far of animated undead. Uh, and they just kind of loop, you know, they do their thing. They're sort of ready to fight, but it just adds to the experience seeing something moving and, and alive on your screen. More on the way. We're doing a, an adventurer's pack next. So I'm excited about it. Whoa. Okay. So as you can probably tell by the massive explosion and boxing bell, we've now entered the challenge portion of our show. Jeffrey, as I understand it, you exclusively play MTG Arena. And as such, we've decided on playing a 60 card singleton format for our battle this episode. So please, sir, tell me what you brought. So I've got two decks here. The first one that I'm very excited to play is a Muldrotha deck. So obviously this isn't Commander, so we don't have Muldrotha to start. So this is just your... uh, just your Sultai value, kind of kind of mid-rangey, you know, some control, uh, get up to the good stuff with just a pile of I win the game cards. Mm-hmm. You know, cashing your planeswalkers in, you're getting your kind of crazy cards uh, back if they get removed, like Tinder Shoot Dryad, uh, Biogenic Ooze. These are cards that you just win the game with if they're left unchecked for any amount of time. I love these... Uh, Minus Planeswalkers idea with Muldrotha, because as soon as you cash them out, you can just bring them right back and Mm -hmm. recast them. So this is a a list of my uh, good buddy, Justin Simon. And uh, shout out to Justin. Thank you for uh, helping me. That's why this list is so special to me. I'm not much of a brewer, uh, truth be told. I'm really bad at going, oh, that card should go together. I'm like, that says human on it, and that says human as well. Uh, Maybe they're good together. That's about as deep as I think. Well, um, I didn't know that you had help building and brewing your deck. I don't think that's exactly fair, oh, yeah. Jeffrey. I think yeah, that absolutely. might. Absolutely. I cheated immediately. Yeah. I think this might give you a default mulligan of two at least for every game. Yeah. You didn't know the uh, the condition of having a friend as your, your story. If only you'd known. Well, I guess that is that is a, that is a technical loop, which uh, is fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Do you uh, want to absolutely. talk about your second deck in case this one does bomb? You yeah, know, for sure. Reason? Um, well, I'll tell you why this next deck is special to me, because um, I got it from MTG Goldfish. I didn't build it at all. Uh, oh. MTG Goldfish is the greatest resource for finding decks other than ChannelFireball.com. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> um, so yeah, I went made a little Selesnia. Uh, I found a little Selesnia. I, I tuned it up a little bit because it didn't have any of the new War of the Spark cards. So. Well, do you want to know what I brought? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I also tell went to Goldfish. I did not do a completely original brew. I adapted. See? Uh-huh. Mr. Brewer's Paradise. There is yeah, nothing wrong that. with adapting somebody else's deck so as a starting You got a point. little help, did you? I did. I had a little bit of artificial help. But I was actually... Uh, last week when I was working on uh, the stream highlights for Goldfish, Seth was playing uh, a deck he brewed blue black tesserator uh, which used the new karn the creator along with old karn multiple tesserets and it just looked like a blast to play so i had to adapt that down to a singleton version and this is what i came up with um mm-hmm. so it's just kind of like a demure jank fest of things <laughs> And I was like, oh, I don't really have that many creatures in the deck. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. There's only like seven creatures in the, <laughs> in the deck. Then so it's like spell, 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 spell. And then you're like, oh, no, I have nine, 90 cards in my 60-card deck. Uh, <laughs> well, um, hey. Yeah. So I, don't, thing. so I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to build a second deck. Um, hopefully you'll have the run bads and, you know, swap, mm-hmm. swap around a little bit. And this yeah. singleton tesserator will just go the distance. Just go off, yeah. Here comes a new challenger! So did you grow up in Minnesota? Is that where your family's still from? No, yeah, so I'm from Missouri. Missouri, okay. I grew up in Missouri, and um, yeah, we just... 
But uh, we're not typical Midwesterners. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Draw a card, then exile. Oh, this one. Yeah, this seems pretty good for this format, because, like, I'm going to have to make sure you can't just, you know, uh, win with that. So I think I'm going to kind of actually tap my lands so I can gift of paradise this swamp. Nice. Gain some life. Now we're cooking with Cresco. We got uh, five mana available. Five mana Start available. making some play. Five cards in hand. The world is my oyster. All right, cool. I'm going to plant island. I'm going to play the super cool Voltaic Servant. Mmm. I, I can deal with it. I'm not, I'm not terrified with that. I'm a little bit terrified of this Azor's Gateway. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. This isn't the one where you win the game if you no. get five different mana costs. No, you just get like uh, all right. mana as much as your life is. Tons of mana. Tons of mana. So you're into uh, are you into scary movies or into sci-fi movies? <laughs> Horror is definitely my genre of choice. Somewhat routinely post like you know what should I watch type questions on Twitter and try to get make sure I'm not missing anything scary uh, coming down the pipe. But yeah, yes, yeah, so you got all these flip cards, all this stuff. Cool. Oh, look at that. That turns into, uh, what's the, uh, what's the land? Oh, uh, the ma maze, maze of death. Got this. <laughs> um, so as an adult horror movie just kind of fascinated me, you know, I was like, um, needing, uh, I, I just wanted to understand what made them, what made something scary. And, uh, uh wow. So there you get to flip. That. Oh, why is that so tapped? Oh, uh, did I, I not do that right? I think cause it flipped when you. I don't know. Maybe I should have that's a, reordered that's a that. That's a good question. Whatever. whatever arena. That's I'm fine. I'm not sure. Okay, so I've got a card in my hand that I'm not really sure um, how much value I'm going to get out of, but I don't really have any other plays. And I really need to start finding some more gas. So I'm going to fire it off. Um, uh -huh. so at least I'll get your servant yeah. off the battlefield, and I've not been loving you on tapping time. And I get to serve in for a healthy little dose of life here. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of come on in. All right, down to 15. Pump up the jam. So the only thing I got going for me is card advantage. Yeah, you've definitely got that engine working, which in the long game is uh, pretty good, pretty good. I think we're going to ditch the chemsters in sight. So what do we have under here now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, there it goes. I have a horrible habit of clicking on... Uh, clicking on things. Clicking on things, and then Arena <laughs> thinks I want to do it. Nezahal is definitely one where, like, you don't want to accidentally click on it. You really don't. You really don't. Because you just that start will... Returning everything to your hand. And then it goes back. Yeah. It's, oh, uh, no. It's a bit of a hassle. All right, we're going to get rid of Blink of an Eye. We'll put that under there. All right, well, luckily I have another have another land. And now we got, oh, one, two, three, four, five. Three. I think we're gonna pass and leave stuff up. Mm, okay. Discard a code. Yeah, pick something. Yeah, we're gonna discard. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't like discarding that, but I think that is the best Try choice. Try to do it. So I'm gonna move to combat. Do it. Serve in with my attackers. So I'm going to manually tap my land so I don't get that messed up here. Helps. Oh, got some tricks. Yep. Or cruelty, the harpooner. And then Oof, maze exiled. the token. Untap that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end the turn. Got to find some gas. So you're going to get a creature back. But is there anything to get, get back? A creature or planeswalker back. Yeah, I think the only planeswalker you can really the only, only planeswalker is Narset. I'm hoping Narset's got some good <laughs> good <laughs> things for me. Well, she could. Uh she might. We shall see. But all right, here comes here comes Tezzeret. Yeah. And we're just gonna make some, make some tokens. 
Mm -hmm. Make sure. And pass the turn. All right. Let's go Narset. Find right. some answers. Get a two hits on an impulse. All right, this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna pull out. Ah, yes. An Ashiok. Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> He's got something for that. I don't know how scary is how scary is that. Search your libraries. Ashiok. Um, In a deck of one, one of all time seems favorite scary. cards. Yeah. I think I think that's okay. I'll let that come down. Ooh, all right. Spicy. Uh, so normally with Ashiok, I would actually probably mill myself because I could get stuff back with Moldrotha. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm considering that. I think given my hand, I'm going to target myself. It's probably going to be like, are you sure? Are you, are you, po are you positive? No, it will no. exile your graveyard. That's, that's nice, great. yeah. So that's a that's a nice synergy where you still get to exile my deck or my my graveyard and then know yourself. Right. Okay, so uh, ultimately I'm not going to attack you because you can just remove it from combat, so we will let that go. So, All right, so we're gonna... I hit a uh, Braska Golgari Queen. All right, good. end step. We're going to gateway. And unfortunately, I'm just gonna put another dead card under there. I think you're getting pretty close to the old flipperoo. Plus, I made you. <laughs> More thopters. More thopters. So we're gonna send one thopter into Ashiok. You're oh. not scared enough. And then we're gonna spend four for Karn the Creator. Oh no. It's Planeswalker Heaven. So that shuts down so, your Lotus. That's fun. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go looking for. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna go looking for a card. And we're gonna pick up Meteor Golem from the sideboard, which I didn't actually fully build build up my sideboard. So fun. <laughs> that, that might be worth going back to going back to do. All right, I guess that's a pass. Oh, okay, that's something that I just drew. I'm not too upset about that. All right, here goes Narset. Oh, okay, very good. Uh -oh. I'm gonna grab a certain spell. Oh, uh, how much? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're gonna need that Ooh. one. Yep. Uh, just to protect there. And then I think I'm gonna mill myself again. Um, Cause I've got to. What's your plan to get Muldrotha back if it hits your bin? Well, I've got Memorial of uh, Folly. All right, right. And I've got some other stuff, so. Some secret sauce. Some secret sauce. So, all right, we're gonna play. Okay, that. This lady. That is worth holding on to my negate for. Yeah, oh, there it was. I knew you had something. <laughs> all right, well, I can't do anything about that. Kind of had, kind of figured it, kind of had to jam it in there. Um, okay, so, and no attack. Hmm. Pass, pass, okay, not end look, step. Not looking good. We're gonna. Try to get the gateway going. So activate the gateway. Oh, we have. I already have a two mana spell. Four mana spell. Seven mana spell. I have to exile a card. Yeah, you need like a one or a five or something. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of the golem. All right, so now you can add 20 mana. Oh, you went ahead and gained five life. Just no problem. All right, so hey, do you think do you think we're gonna get the disdainful stroke used here? Yeah, I'm just waiting to see if you figured out some kind of way to. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Helm of the Host will kill me much faster than that. Well, the real question is, do I actually have Helm of the Host in here? Have you been? I don't know. I don't know what you've got. You got you got something. Oh my gosh. Disdainful stroke. All right. That's that's gonna get it. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, fire that helm off. Okay. Let's, let's see it. You got to get this game over somehow. This has got to end. Here it comes. <clears throat> so do I have a way All to right. animate an artifact? What happens? Like, so yeah, like what happens if I animate? What happens? Well, I can't equip that to itself. So what happens if I like animate uh, Millstone? <laughs> you know what you can. I'm just yeah, so I was curious. Say, like, what happens? You can put it on Millstone. I then, think you can. 
Yeah, I'm just so curious. Like, for, what actually happens for here? For science. <laughs> I think you're gonna get another millstone. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. We'll make a thopter. My device is finished. Just go through your buffet of options. <laughs> you had me on your show, sir. <gasps> you know. <laughs> it did work that way. It did it. <laughs> so you're gonna get infinite millstones every time. Oh. I have 20 cards left in my deck. This is great. Okay. Well, then no attacks. Oh wow. Who's got who's got the least amount of cards here? Here, you can have I don't want you having any more artifacts. You can kill one of my stupid creatures that you can already kill. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and you get a permanent, you know, no problem. This is just This is funny. You're you're humming along here. I s I I've seen my buddy win with this deck. I, I know it works, but uh, I have just not really had it all come together for Oh, I don't know why I did that. But that's <laughs> Oh wow! I don't know. That's why I, did that. <laughs> I was like, you know, I didn't really mean to click on the card, but I think I just kind of did it anyway. Okay, well there goes like, <laughs> all the other. You got a lot of cards out of that. <laughs> <laughs> and you might actually do this is for you to mill yourself. I might down. actually mill myself. Out. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is gonna really win me. Okay, so I'm gonna nice. do it to try. Okay, Give me a gate and a forest. Give me a small fry and a massacre girl is awesome. I love this card. Oh, that is such a cool card. The art is just incredible. Chris Rallis just yeah, fifteen left. Oh, thank you for getting rid of two more lives. Boy, Muldrotha just must be on the bottom of my library. Oops, cancel. Uh, deck what? two. Yeah, unfortunately, I destroyed the. Uh... Oh shoot, that's not a creature. All right, cancel. Jeez, I'm doing this all, all sorts of backwards here. All right, so we're gonna do Karn and we're gonna animate Millstone again. And then we will equip Helm of the Host mm -hmm. to Millstone. And then go to combat. Make another, another guy. And I guess <laughs> we'll just attack you. We'll get this, we'll get this over. Sure. Down to eight. All right. Uh, maybe. Here comes a Golgari Find Broker. Nice. What can I possibly get back that does anything? Um, so I got in bolus clutches. So I'm, my plan here is to go for maximum uh, flavor and tr just try to like steal your stuff. Okay. Style, <laughs> style points. St yoink. Points for style. All right. He is, he is yoinked. Awesome. Thanks, Tezzeret. Drew me a swamp. All right, so for fun, we'll mill you <clears throat> down to 11 cards. We'll Dream Eater. Bounce. Bounce Tezra back to your hand. <laughs> <laughs> You're just humming along. Well, I'm definitely worried about this deck because it only has seven creatures in it. So it's like. So, all right, we're going to finish yeah. this off, Jeffrey. We'll go to a second game. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely tons of, tons of flavor. I think running the helm, like we do helm of the host on not going to do a massacre girl. Cause that'd probably be a bad idea. So we'll, we'll helm our token, go to combat, get another. Oh, it dies. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'm learning about how magic works and all these interactions of the cards, but helm of the host is a pretty fun. A pretty fun artifact. We can just kind of do some pretty wacky stuff. Pretty fun little artifact. All right. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Good game. Good game. So one of the funny things about uh, Magic Arena, at least for me, I never played Control in any way, shape, or form. I mm -hmm. was always playing Fast X. I mean, you know, live fast, die fast, go get a hot dog at the, you know, vendor booth uh, or whatever. <laughs> um <laughs> I just didn't really get it. Um, I just didn't really understand. Okay, so to the game, I'm gonna keep my hand because it looks like pure gasoline. Uh, and but cool. once I started playing arena, and you know, kind of the barrier to entry was much lower, and I could actually play, you know, decks that I wouldn't normally play without, you know, too much um, investment mm -hmm. monetary wise. I was like, wow, this is really really kind of fun. So I'm playing Selesnia 
I'm gonna lead off on an incubation. incubation Ooh, nice. Druid. Get nice. a little. Uh, well, yeah, that's the interesting thing about Arena, where like you know there isn't an economy, so cards are all right the I same. Mean, you do have to. You do have to pay for your cards and otherwise earn them. Uh, I have several friends who are free to play and having a great time. Um, that's rude. But Sorry, you gotta get not, gotta get rid of the. Not terribly unexpected. All right, so gonna go with a Lanoir Elves okay, okay. and an Andanto Vanguard. All the plays. Hmm. And what will be hilarious is I think that'll probably end up killing me if you don't the Andanto Vanguard. Good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that Andato Vanguard. That is a messed up card. I want to apologize to everybody because I'm playing white, but... Um, oh, that's fine. Uh, untap yourself. Untap yourself, sir. So what do you like to play for control, then? You just jam all the Teferis? Yeah. Oh, this is gross. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no. no! <laughs> Let's start the show. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, we'll, just, we'll just serve in. Yeah, we're not going to... I'm not going to block. This deck uh, is a little bit faster than the last one. So, so Maybe we'll play two games of this if, if this goes really ridiculously fast. We'll see. So this um, is the only hope I have. Is oh, gotcha. You... Okay, nope. That's not a bad not a bad play. So I just got to cross my fingers that you don't have a Let way to get rid of the hostage taker. Yeah, that's going to have to be some top decking for me. I have few, few removal spells. Boy. All right. Well, we're going to send a message. We're going in for one. Send a message. <laughs> I love it. And then untap yourself. Untap himself. How funny. Wow. Okay. Definitely did not find that. Rough life. All right. I'm going to keep playing out my... Keep playing out my thing. So you can just go ahead and block with your hostage taker if you want no. there. No just way. Just to save, you that, save yourself that life. Oh, thank uh, God. Okay, I have an untapped land, thankfully. So we can get the Lyra down. My own Lyra! Oh, little Dex. That's fine. Oh, this is rough. <laughs> no, Boy, I, think... I was cocky. I was ready to just run you right over. And, uh... No, oh, I got lucky. Once again, my own cards are... Turn coding me with your deck. Uh, I can't believe it. Well, I think we will call that my no attack turn. All I'm right. Getting close to thinking about possibly doing something, but not really. I'm in a tough spot with that Lyra. She is very good at holding down the fort. She is, and I thank you. I thank you for that. Yeah. It is the yeah. 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 Subordinate. The. The recorded Planeswalkers lines are just hilarious. Oh, I love it. Alright, well, we're going to start doing something. We're going we're gonna to swing in with Lyra. Okay. Let's something. say no blocks. No blocks. So I get in for five. And pass. Pass. I'm going to untap. Token. Okay, I'm going to flash in Angel of Grace. Nice. Um, Maybe. Uh, spell swindle. Oh no! It's the poor what man's spell. mana oh. drain. Oh, it goes. That's right. That's right. Okay, it goes back to my hand at least. Oh, okay. it does. Oh, wait, no, is it? No, it's in your graveyard for exiling, right? You're absolutely right. Don't accidentally cast that. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna try to go to combat. Yep. And swing in with my angel and my sunwing and my war leader and my dot. <laughs> <laughs> Resolve that guy. So the war leader is going to make two cats that are tapped and attacking. Okay. There we go. Yep, no blocks. All right. So pump up the jam. All right, we're going to do something silly. Something in response. Yeah, we're gonna <clears throat> return it. Pay the kicker. The blink of an eye at back man. Now I wonder. I don't think you're gonna deal damage, so I don't think you're gonna get another token with, with the angel. Mm -mm. No, I certainly won't. What happened? What did you blink of an eye? Oh, Tezzeret. Oh, 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 oh. So I thought like you a, blinked my angel. 
No, no, I, I did a complicated fog by just blinking. It was like blinking Tesla. Yeah, very clever, very clever. Okay. So well, I potentially, if I can get rid of the elves, how much can we do? Five, six, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, if I can get rid of oh, the yeah, elves to block your, with. Oh uh, yeah, co your construct is uh, a problem. Yeah, the crackback is real. The crackback. Let's see if we can clear the way. I was hoping to have that uh, that other blocker. So, my employer sends his results. I guess we'll just draw a card. One step behind. Hmm. Lots of stuff. Yeah, I guess everybody goes in except for Lyra. Oh, Lyra doesn't come in. Okay. No, I think I can leave her back to to block with. Ouch. We'll just make, make another token. Mm -hmm. Another 8-8. Eight, eight. Another 8-8. Eight, eight. Is tapped, which is handy. Oh, but the servant. Oh, the yeah. The servant's going to untap it. That servant's been your key Yo, card. it's been liking me. I only had, you know, there's only one in the deck, but I am uh, definitely good at drawing it. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right. So, let's see. <clears throat> So I can play this little tithe taker action, mm -hmm. which is good. And then um, I have no good attacks, so I am done. Oh yeah, we'll keep that. Keep the card on top from the Azakanta, and probably should have just held that up. But oh boy, let me take a look in the deck. Cast Masterminds Acquisition. I don't think I want anything in the sideboard. I think I want something in the library. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we'll grab, grab Big Tezzeret. <laughs> Four. Looking a little five. outclassed here. Well, I mean, this game came down, it came down to being able to steal. Uh, it, it was steal a good barrier. steal. Indeed. So now you can hit me with Let's see how many uh, artifacts we can get going here. Yeah, that's going to be rough. Oof. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. So that's that's game unless you can cast Angel of Grace. Well, I can't, so... Uh... Oh, just enough! <laughs> just enough! Just enough! <laughs> All right. Give, give the kid one more chance. Let's try one let's, more? Let's go here. I had a, such a good start, and then you stole it away from me with your... Evil. I'm a little slower this time, but I've got some powerful stuff if we can get to it. I wonder which which okay. deck you're playing. You go back to your friend's deck. Or are you doing? No, I'm gonna do one more try on the old Selesnya deck. I went 5-0 with this several times on the. Uh... I just probably know it a little better. Fair enough. Yep. So this is good. We're drawing mana. We're drawing into hopefully into our bigger stuff. I'm gonna go for a chromatic lantern. Okay. Pass the turn. Very good. Okay, so I'll play a uh, guild mage form, and I'll drop cool. in oh, the cool, mentor cool. The meek action. Hmm. So when does this trigger? Hey. Mentor of the meek. Whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield, you may pay one to draw a card. Okay. Go with the island. We have five mana available. A chromatic island. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, so we'll play Notion Rain. Surveil Notion two. Notion Rain. Draw Surveil two. two. Draw two. Damage two. Notion Rain. Oh, I kind of want both these cards, but actually. Well, you can have them. I can. I can. I can. You're right. You're right, Jeffrey. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take well, them both. Like, I don't know if that's a great idea. <laughs> You can definitely have them, buddy. They're yours. Nice. All right, I'm going to end the turn. Pass the turn. All right, all right. So I'm going to play that, and then I'm going to play a, let's see. Da, da, da. Yeah, play Congelli's Sunwing. Aha, uh -huh. so that would do your mentor, correct? Correct, if he's around. Okay, so we will Tyrant Scorn the mentor of the meek. No. Okay. Well, there we go. 
All right, Arch of Orizaka. Orizaka. <clears throat> um, uh, I don't know what I want, but I guess I'll start looking for something. Take a look. Take a look. Yeah, I think it's probably Tezzeret, just to make some thopters. Oh, thank thanks for telling me. No, oh, I don't have to tell you. <laughs> It's optional. optional hey, trigger, I like, but uh, I, I like I like it. talking. Uh, so I'm gonna fire Ooh. off a ooze. Ooh, the ooze is loose. That is not good. The ooze is loose. Oh boy. I'm gonna try to get into some goodness. All right, we definitely gotta kill. Definitely gotta kill the ooze. Okay, that could exile. I picked the right one, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. And play that tapped. And pass. However, that's a lot of damage. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Gonna just keep playing all my heaters. Don't quite have the city's blessing yet. Okay. Yeah, I must be like one permanent short. We'll see if we can get there. Oh, uh, I think you're not gonna like this. Probably not. But this is totally the best Master oh, yeah. Grill setup. So that should kill Ever. the token, kill the dryad, and then kill your guys. Kill everybody. Rough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna keep drawing my really powerful white cards off the top of the deck. So that's fine. Uh, I should have gone with that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But this seems good. So we'll see. All right, here comes Tezzeret. Tezzeret, the one I told you about. Mm-hmm. Nick of Thop, Thop. Passenger. Okay. Now, let's see. How much mana do we have? Okay. We have six mana. I think this works. Okay. Play a kicked sapperling migration, maybe. Never good when your spell hangs in midair. Right. Uh... Guess that's fine? I think that's okay. Oh, because okay. of Tristani. Okay, maybe that wasn't maybe that wasn't okay then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so now I'm going to play a try to play a venerated Loxodon to make everybody even bigger. Yeah, I think you can do that. Then, uh, well, well, I might have punted the game away then because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out of this one. I'm gonna let you. Choose if you want to block. I'll block one of sure. them for sure. A lucky shot. Okay. Well, what can I? What can we do here? Try not to Got board wipe again if you can help it. Hmm. Loxodon is big. Yes. But I feel like you just got enough tokens to run right through everything. 24, 1, 2, 1, I 2, hope 3. so. But we'll play a Memorial to Genius. And... I guess Tezzeret? Okay. Other Tezzeret. Other Tezzeret. I don't have anything to return, so... We're going to make another Thopter. Then we're going to drain me. for 3. Just concede. But no attacks. All right. So, part of me wants to go for your face. So let's see. We've got uh, 12, 15, 20, 22. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think face damage. is. I think I think face would be the be the right call. We're gonna come at you. Oh, so what do I have to block? This is 12, 14. I think what I want to do is double block here and chump here and then take 14. Yeah, so I think I should not have attacked with my Trisani, but still going to get in for rather a lot. Yeah, down to down to two. Which is pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, what can we do? Yeah, what can what can we do? Four, four, two, two. Well, unexcitedly, I think I have to make a blocker. Okay. But I have to somehow make. Tricks on you gotta make a lot so of. I make a lot of blockers. Mm -hmm. Somehow. Um. 
do have the arch, we can sack, the memorial, but then there's nothing really left for, uh, nothing there. Yeah, I should have countered the, the kicked, kicked migration. It looks so innocent, but then... It does, you're like, yeah, sure, why not? You can have some dorks. Why not, but, uh... Oh, right. there's your Thief, thief of Sanity. Sanity. That gives me three blockers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can drain you for two. Mm-hmm. But that's not quite enough, is it? One, two, three. So you're still going to get in for... Well, actually, no, maybe... I think I can stay alive for one more turn here. So I'm going to drain you. Yeah. And pass the turn. Angel I'm gonna flash place. in my girl Angel. Maybe. Uh oh. Yeah, we're gonna spell. We'll spell swindle. Swindle it. That's a good one to catch. Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna go. Ah, Legion's can't do anything about that. That'll that'll be something. Why is there a Legion's landing? Is this I'm being attempting passed? to cast it, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll get do rid you of that. Do you want to do anything about it? We'll get rid of that. <laughs> we'll use the negate. We'll not, uh, we'll not sit on the negate. Hiya! Okay. What can we do? What can we do? So, we definitely need to block 2, 4, 6, 8, 12. I think I, I, think I have to block and leave 3 damage coming through. And the question is, do I try to kill... Do I trade with the Loxodon? Four, six, eight, nine, thirteen. If I hadn't attacked with my stupid uh, one thing, that was a major punt. The tree, yeah, the wow. Tristani. That was not the play. Oh wait, I'm yep. dead. I think I'm dead no matter what, right? So that's five coming through. That is five coming through. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything. However, uh, yeah, like one more turn. Uh, I yeah, I know. I was so the... close because you could ultimate your Tezzeret. <laughs> Oh, oh. Really punted with that thing. All right. Yeah, that was awesome. We'll have to do that again, just casually. Totally. Good stuff. So what's next for um, you, my friend? Yeah, so Channel Fireball is uh, just, uh, you know, keeping keeping the train rolling. Super excited about all the new sets of cards that are coming out. Modern Horizons is exciting. Uh, it's such a funny thing, my job now being, day job being magic. Um, and I still somehow maintain an interest in it thought I was going to get burned out, um, but I've already been through a year. A year passed by in a, the blink of an eye. Of course, time flying, and I'm sure it's going to go even faster when I have a child on, on the way soon. Um, but uh, yeah, just uh, each new format is a new chance to try new things. It's it's such a funny thing. As soon as I'm done, you know, like, oh, I'm so tired of Dominaria, and then boom, something new comes out. and started all over again and all that so got to keep going with that uh personally i'm working on the real 20 tokens i'm excited to continue with that I haven't had as much time keep mm -hmm. going with those but definitely check out the roll 20 marketplace search for undead uh they're in the art under tokens if you play DD you got to do it and check out any of Devin knight stuff he's a great uh great guy um and, and where then, can where uh, can people find yeah. find your work uh jeffrey yeah, so the best way to find my work is to follow me on Twitter. Twitter is where uh, Twitter, so I work from home now, so I don't uh, have the water cooler experience. So Twitter is my water cooler. I just sort of have it up and uh, I don't post all day long, but I, you know, um, I have things going up. Some of it will be terrible memes. Some of it will be good, good memes. And occasionally there will be really high quality work that I'm very proud of. So um, give me a follow at living cards MTG. I'm sure we'll get some links and all that stuff going on, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's where to connect with me. And I, I'm, uh, thankful. I've got a little community of people that, that are following me and, and I'm following a ton of cool people, uh, like yourself, sir. And, uh, I'm just excited to keep, uh, growing my part. Um, I don't think I'm going to step out behind the scenes. I, I thought I was going to try, uh, you know, a little thing where maybe I play some arena, but being a content creator is really tough. You have to do a lot of work. And uh, mm -hmm. so I am happy to just keep on keeping on uh, making sweet things behind the scenes to make other people shine. And, uh, and I certainly get my chance to, you know, go, do cool stuff like this here and there. And uh, I'm, I'm very thankful and, Happy for everyone who's supported my career uh, so far, 
and continues to a uh, huge shout out to uh, the proxy guy, Josh and uh, the command zone who have thanked me and, and used my animations and promoted me since the very beginning. Tolarian community college, LRR and all those guys and everybody uh, who's tuned in, seen something I've made and said that was sweet. Awesome. Appreciate we definitely it. have an impressive resume and impressive work. Jeffrey, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the new awesome animations you come out with for Channel Fireball and the new artwork. Mm -hmm. And I really uh, appreciate you coming and doing this pilot episode with me and uh, you know, having some fun chat and some fun games. So much. It's really, and really And thank cool. you to MTG Goldfish. Uh, we're going to be doing, I think we're going to do some more stuff with, with you guys because uh, we love what, what you guys are doing. Awesome place to get your decks and articles and uh, everything, so... Yeah, all good things. All good things. And just like all good things, it must come to an end. So I'll uh, see you later, my friend, and uh, we'll uh, catch you on the Twitter sphere. Well, thanks again to Jeffrey for taking the time to come on the show and be a guest for this pilot episode. And thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Uh, any feedback is welcome. Ideas for the next episode, uh, guests, formats. Leave your comments down below. And this is Fletcher for MTG Goldfish, signing off. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.